I'm Mike Dean, and you're watching Mike's Fish Room. Today I'm going to show you guys how I spray the backs of my tanks, what product I use, and how I apply it. Now the product that I use is Plasti Dip. It's a sprayable rubber coating. You can buy it at Lowe's, you can buy it on DipYourCar.com. Uh, if you ever hear the term dipping your car, dipping your rims, dipping anything, that's what they're talking about. And the reason why it's called dipping is because when this product first came out, it was a lot more of a thicker rubberized um, you know, rubber coating for lack of better terms. And if you had needle nose pliers, you had a monkey wrench and it was just bare metal, you could dip the end of that in there, let it solidify, let it cure, and you would have a nice rubber coating for handles on your tools. What they've done since then is they've actually liquidized it, they've made it sprayable, and now it's become huge over the car customization industry, uh, and of course for do-it-yourselfers at home. And this is the only product that I use for the backs of my tanks. The reason why is because once it's cured and you've applied a thick enough layer, it peels right off. No scrape in it, no having to hit it with paint thinner, none of the chemicals. You literally peel an edge, pull it back, and rip the whole sheet off with it. Now this stuff is great because you can spray your tanks, you can spray your rims, you can spray your car, you can spray your kid. Don't spray your kids. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of direction or instruction while I show you the side-by-side -side of me painting it because I wanna demonstrate and explain how to apply the product and how to do it correctly. A lot of people grab a spray paint can and just go to town and by the time they're done, they've got a lot of drip marks and stuff like that. With the Plasti Dip, it's not paint. So if you don't go super thick, you will see the drip marks in the back and you won't be happy with the final product. So when you start your first pass with the paint, you want to do what's called a stick coat or what I call a tack coat. You're going to lightly mist the glass just to get it tacky. Let that dry literally for a couple minutes and then come back. I've got a lot of experience painting not only tanks but also vehicles so I don't necessarily give that tack coat time to dry. Uh, but if you're a beginner, I would advise giving it one to two minutes just to just to tack up a little bit And then you can come back and try to create more of a, a full coverage and then eventually your wet coat Once you get that paint stuck to the glass you can spray it thicker without it running Still be careful hold your hand a good six to eight inches away from the glass and keep the pattern moving in a quick motion Once you're done with that strip of glass don't go over it again Go down below it or go halfway under it and do 50% passes until you get good coverage. But remember, take your time, do light coverage at first, and if you're nervous that you're going to spray it too thick, do light coverages through the whole process, okay? If you're doing a 10 gallon tank, I would advise to get one can of Plasti Dip. That'll be plenty and you'll probably have about a quarter to a half can left. Make sure you go on thick enough because the best thing about this product is it peels off. But if you don't go thick enough, it won't peel off. So make sure you use at least a half can on the back of a 10 gallon. A 20, I personally, I'd buy two cans. You might not need it, but I'd do two cans just because I'd rather have extra. Um, if you're doing a 40 gallon, two cans will be fine. When you go up to a 55, try to use three cans. Um, like I said, you want to make sure this stuff peels off for you. Now that we're done applying it, we're going to let it dry. Give it a good two hours to cure. With Plasti Dip, you can go up to it and lightly tap it. Do it in a corner or something so if it is still kind of soft, it's not visible. Uh, but as soon as it, it dries out, we're going to give it time to cure. And I'm actually going to peel this tank uh, just to be able to show you guys. I did use a 10-gallon tank that I had that was broken because I don't want to use a tank that I'm using, put it on a stand when I'm done, and not show you guys how to get the Plasti Dip off. I've given it about two to two and a half hours. Now we're going to peel it off and show you guys how easy it is. All you got to do is get it started with your thumbnail. Done.
thanks to anybody who's watching and a huge thanks to all my subscribers. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.